Uh, there's a common misconception that if culture uh, creates sexuality in some way, that uh, people must be able to snap out of it immediately. So on a forum, somebody wrote, uh, who uh, at least read what Guerrero was about or trying to say, said, right, so can we all just turn straight by force of will? This was a uh, gay forum. And my answer was, not necessarily. My book is mostly about how most straight men cannot have been born straight. This has to be the case if we see that in the ancient world, most men, it would appear, had no qualms about same-sex sex. Genes, hormones, whatever, do not change in a few centuries. Cultures can and did. That culture makes people straight does not mean that straight men can by force of will change their sexual habits. It does mean that for straight men who are already open-minded or curious, informing them that they're not really born straight could perhaps lead to a greater incidence of same-sex sex. Where does that leave the gays or homosexuality? Well, the problem is that there is no one thing called homosexuality. If you just browse the table of contents of homosexualities by Stephen O. Murray, you'll see that there have been multiple types of homosexualities, plural. In some cultures, you had relationships between men of the same rank or males of a different age, both masculine, though. In North America, you had Berdashes, uh, who were feminine men, uh, used like women. The top in this relationship wasn't considered different from other males. Under the modern nomenclature, all of these people would be considered homosexual now. So, can some of these people change? Well, maybe. I've never understood how some gay men uh, can have sex with dozens or hundreds of men of varying quality, yet if a vagina is attached, you no thanks. Really, that, that's the deal breaker, you know? A lot of gay men are effeminate and end up with other effeminate gay men, but if there's a vagina attached, again, it's you no thanks. Those in stable relationships gay and straight, would you ditch your partner if they magically sprouted genitalia contrary to their biological sex all of a sudden? So how much of, a homo uh, so how much of homosexual exclusivity is due to the hetero majority's bigotry that segregates gay, for example? Uh, so uh, that doesn't answer the question per se, but uh, that's the kind of uh, nuance that we have with Grero. So just because culture creates sexuality to a large degree or influences it doesn't mean that you can snap your fingers and become uh, different from what you feel just like that. However, knowing that flexibility does exist uh, shows that uh, straight men and perhaps some gay men would be uh, a lot more... Um, uh, you know, a lot more comfortable doing other things if they only knew that it's not weird or anything like that.